Well, good afternoon, folks. Hello. It's Thursday again, and time for another beer review from the Beer Buffoon. Here at Andy Does Ales, you're always welcome to come and subscribe and have a look and have a listen and just prat about. Let's do that, shall we? It's been a good week. It's been a good week. We've had gifts galore, and I'm going to do one of those gifts now. In a minute. That's proper Welsh for you, isn't it? Now in a minute. The first one came, we did a, a, a fellow uh, reviewer, a serious reviewer, named Barry, from All The Beer No Idea. We did a bit of a beer swap, so I sent him some um, a black IPA and a milk stout from the Hugger Brew. And he has very kindly, you can see it there in the background, he's very kindly sent me two. And I'm going to have a look at this one, which is a... Um, Stonehouse Brewery in Oswestry. It's a 6.2% IPA called Snake River with Idaho 7 hops. Now, I didn't know what that meant. Has it got 7 hops in it? Or is it just one hop called 7? Apparently, it's just one hop called 7. So, um, yes. Ah, 7 of 9. Or was it 7 of 9? Yes. Yes, it's only one. So, so Barry, thank you very much for this. I shall crack into this any second now because the second surprise that I had, and it's time for the big reveal, thanks very much to ah, ah, Slurpy Dave. Oh, let's get this. It's all right. Don't worry. That's all I'm taking off. Yay! Thanks to Dave from the Isle of Man. For the Bushy's Ale of Man t-shirt. <laughs> that was a lovely surprise that was, Dave. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, of course, I'm, you know, I, I shall wear it with pride. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, brilliant. Check out both of their channels. All the beer, no idea. But he has got some idea. But don't let that in fool you. All the beer, no idea. And Slurpy Dave, who's the funniest man on the planet. And a great bloke to talk to. Even though I've never met him yet. He's my old mate. They're both my old mates. Definitely. Yeah, one day we will. I mean, Osra Street's only up the road. I could nip up there one day. Alla man, it's a bit further. It involves travelling. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, look, you know. Cheers, matey. Thank you very much. Right, without further ado, let us crack on with having a look at this, um, this IPA. Idaho, seven hops in it. Snake River IPA, 6.2% from Stonehouse Brewery. Now, this is a Stonehouse Slight... Stone... I wish they wouldn't put letters together like that. Stonehouse Sidelines. So, it's away from the usual um, brewing process, if you like, and something a bit extra. So, the craft side of the brewery, and it comes out in this. Let's have a look. Um... Pine tropical, oh hang on, I can't see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pine tropical, floral and fruity. There we are, floral and fruity flavors again. F -f 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 -f. Yeah, from Idaho. Oh, from Idaho, seven hops. That's it. Hazy and vegan friendly. Oh, I suppose it's ticking a box. Vegan friendly. But there you go. Uh, oh, best before 2023. I better sup it now before it goes off. What do you reckon? Okay, right. Uh, let's get the uh, the Andy Does Ales glass. Vicky bought me this. Where's my glass opener? Here we go. Right. Oh, look at that. The sediment all the way to the top. So let's have a look at this then. Right, Barry. Thank you very much for uh, for sending this. We'll give it a good go. And a good old nose and we'll see what we make of it right it says hazy on the bottle so i'm not expecting clarity at all from uh it's bottle conditioned as well so we'll just ooh, save a little bit in the bottom for now we'll have a quick quaff and and see what we do right let's have a look at this mm. it's an orange juice Right, okay, okay. 
Right, you've got the IPA smell, the definite IPA smell. I, I, apparently the the Idaho hops have been grown in Idaho. You can get them available. They're, they're grown in Britain now as well. But apparently they were they were um, conceived and born, if you like, in Idaho in about 2015. So they're a fairly recent hop. So um, just sort of making their way into the beer world. Mm. Smell-wise, mm. I'm getting the IPA smell. I mean, you know, there's... I don't know if you can... The sediment in the bottle there. Let's uh, give that a waft round. But I'll have a, I'll have, I'll have a quick quaff first. Um, smell wise. Mm. I'm just I'm getting the IPA smell, which is nice. I like that sort of fresh, zingy, kind of um, very clean smell, if you like. Uh, looks wise, it is very hazy. And I, you know, I do like a beer to look clear, but that's just me being old school you know it always used to be cloudy it was off but not so much in these case these cases um there's uh not a lot i can't see a lot of carbonation but there's there's like a quarter finger white head clinging to the top like i don't know what barry cheers thank you very much sir let's have a look Oh, well then, yes. Mm, right. Let's get the rest of it in. Woo, look at that. Hey. <coughs> mm, that's lined it up a bit. Right, okay. Taste-wise, first, first impressions. Again, the, you've got that cleanness. You've got... It's a really nice, soft, satiny mouthfeel. You get the IPA taste straight away. That, that sort of clean, lovely, fresh taste. I've got a bitterness on the back tongue coming back now. Everything else, what else have we got in there? I've got all sorts. So let's just make sure and see what's in there. That's gone. Quite bitter. There's, I'm not getting, on my taste, I'm not getting a lot of fruitiness. Now, this is supposed to be a really fruity hop. So, you're supposed to get peach and um, stuff like that. I'm getting a kind of piney, mm, sort of sharp piney taste, but I'm not getting much else. That's probably just my taste. I don't know. Um, it's nice. All right, it, it belies looks. It's nice. It's a good tasting beer. It's got that nice combination of sweetness and, and bitterness that that probably makes a good bodied beer. And this is this is a good bodied. At six point two percent, it's um, it's a bit of a stormer. But uh, hmm, I'm kind of half and half about that. <coughs> Pardon me. It makes you burp. Does the job. It does. Another, I nearly said slurp then. Sorry, Slurpy Dave has got the uh, um, what do they call it? I don't know, he's got the rights to that. I'm the quaffer. Cheers, let's have a quaff. All right, now then, yeah, with that one. I was getting a bit more of the peachiness coming through. It's not over fruity. I don't like fruity beers that are over fruity. This has got enough fruit in it, or fruity taste in it to make it interesting. But it's got more of a beer taste to make it better. I like that. I like that. I do like the beer. And I like the, the simplicity of the bottle. The Snake River IPA bottle. 6.2%. That's all you need to know. Isn't it? And um, yeah, you're paddling down that river like in the River Wild. Yeah, it's it's a good beer. It's a good beer. I'm I'm quite I'm enjoying this, and you know, once again, many thanks to Barris to for sending this over to me. It won't be to everybody's taste, but again, 
that's the beauty of being different people. We all got different tastes. So, you know, we all enjoy different beers. And this is the beauty of these channels. We get to find out what goes on in people's mouths. No, hang on. Should it, no, I'll, yeah. Hmm. <whistles> Blooper. <laughs> um, this is a tidy beer. It's. I'm quite enjoying it. It's very, very... It's a lovely, smooth beer. It, it has got quite a... Um, quite a bit of bad taste on it but uh, I suppose that's the way IPA works it's smooth on the way down bitter on the way back so anyway if you can find it up in Oswald Street um, give it a go see what you think I'm quite enjoying it and uh, oh pardon me <coughs> before it comes and I'm always you know, I'm very grateful to, to Barry for sending it me <coughs> oh pardon me now then uh as you know, as well, just as a postscript, I'm in a band. We call it Out of Order. We do a beer. You've seen it all on there. We're going to try and resurrect the YouTube channel. Now, what if you would ever so kindly go across to Out of Order Wales on YouTube and subscribe there. We're going to start putting some content on there to do with the band. Uh, there may be beer stuff involved as well, but who knows. But, yeah, we'd like to try and get over there. I'll put a link down in the comments. Uh, well in the de description and uh, hopefully we can uh, generate a bit more interest in the band page so I'll leave that with you thank you very much for watching thank you for all our new subscribers and it's lovely to see you and uh, tell your friends and please subscribe to this one as well I'd love it so once again thank you very much all the beer no idea Mr Barry take care keep drinking and drink responsibly, which means don't spill any, okay?